Let's talk about the work the ignition system needs to do. First, we'll talk about some numbers. When it comes to the piston, when we're driving down the freeway at 3000 RPM, maybe 70 miles an hour, that 3000 RPM refers to the crankshaft. The crankshaft is turning, revolving three times, three, 3000 times per minute, revolutions per minute. So 3000 revolutions per minute, that's what the crankshaft, how fast the crankshaft is spinning. Two revolutions of the crankshaft is what it takes for the engine to produce all four strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. The plug fires on the power stroke. So it fires once in four strokes. It fires once in two revolutions. It fires 1,500 times in 3,000 revolutions. In order to time the spark, if we connect the distributor or time the distributor with the valves, that works because the valves work on 1500 revolutions per minute when the crankshaft is turning 3000 revolutions per minute. So the camshaft turns 1500 revolutions per minute when the car is driving at 3000 RPMs of the engine. That's the camshaft. One revolution of the camshaft equals four strokes. So for every four strokes, the camshaft turns once and the crankshaft turns twice. The valves open once in four strokes. The intake valve opens once in four strokes. The exhaust valve opens once in four strokes. So when you're considering how fast everything is moving on the top end when it comes to the valves, just take the RPM and divide it in half. So when we break that down to the spark, let's take that 3000 RPM on a six cylinder engine. If it's turning at 3000 RPM, it has to provide a spark 1500 times per minute times the number of cylinders. So if you take a six cylinder engine times 1500 sparks per minute, then you have 9,000 sparks per minute that the coil is asked to produce. 9,000 sparks per minute, divide that by 60 seconds, and you'll end up with the ignition firing 150 times a second. So when we look at this ignition system, this coil right here is responsible for producing 150 ignitions, 150 high voltage spikes per second. Here's a second, 1,001. So 1,001, in that amount of time, this little guy has to fire 150 times. Put this on a race car that's running at 6,000 RPM or higher, and now it's got to fire 300 times a second. Not only that, but this guy here, remember the distributor is spinning at half the speed of the engine. So, so the distributor is spinning 1500 times per minute, delivering spark to all those plugs. Divide 60 into 1500. And that means your distributor is spinning around one full revolution 25 times per second. If you're going 3000 RPM, this is spinning 50 times around per second, 1001.
when we look at direct or electronic ignition, think of how much easier it is, is on the system. First of all, our crankshaft is triggering the crankshaft sensor and it's already spinning at the speed of the crankshaft. There's no extra parts there. We've eliminated the distributor and all of the work that it had to do. And now we're dividing the voltage spikes up to the number of coils in a waste spark ignition system such as this, where the coils spark two spark plugs each time, the ignition work is divided in thirds. If you take the coils and put them directly on top of the plug, now the coil is only responsible for, for firing one plug, not all four or, or six or all eight every revolution, every two revolutions of the engine. So this is why electronic ignition was such an advancement. 